Welcome back, this is Kanef and today I'm unboxing an order I placed on the Impossible online store on Cyber Monday. Now, Impossible actually had two sales over the past weeks where uh, one was Black Friday and the other was Cyber Monday with both 20% off the entire online store. So let's get right to it. You can see some packs of film on the left, that's a three pack of SX-70 film. And then there's the Impossible slash Mint SX-70 lens set on the right here. Now this one I've been trying to get my hands on for quite a while, but it's really kind of expensive at 70 euros. Normal price, but since it's 20% off, I got it for just over 50, which is perfect in my opinion. And now let's look at the film here, that's a black and white 2.0 and two packs of color film. That's the latest third generation and you can see it's a very recent production. Meaning it has all the latest and greatest chemicals from Impossible and should be able to last in the fridge for a year without any major degrading in case I don't get to shoot it very soon. I've got so much film. Now the next part of this order was obviously the lens set for SX-70 cameras. This one includes a lens holder for the folding style SX-70 cameras, three different sets of lenses. It has a close-up lens, it has some color filters, and also a fisheye lens. So let's unbox this right now. It's a very neat presentation in the box here. We've got the cleaning cloth that also has the instructions and the information printed on it. So you can see that's a nice attention to detail here. Apparently next to the close-up lens, we also get a fisheye lens, a yellow filter K2, a blue filter ATB, and a neural density filter. So let's have a look at those. We can see the fisheye lens in the top left, then the close-up lens and the color filters as well as the neural density filter on the top right and then the accessory holder at the bottom here. This all fits into this plasticky sponge that keeps everything in place and makes sure no lenses are rattling about inside the box. I've got my Polaroid SX-70 Sonar Autofocus camera right here and we'll try out these lenses and filters on it in just a moment. I'm going to show you how to install this lens holder first. So you just take it out of the box here. It takes a little bit of prying but it's not too stiff. Just really a snug fit in the box there so that you really can't damage anything by throwing it about. So yeah, you can see it has holes for both the shutter button and electronic eye of the camera so that all the functions of the camera actually remain accessible to you. The only thing that it's really blocking is the manual and automatic focus switch that can be pushed in accidentally by this plastic strip at the top here. But I found that if you just loosen the grip on this clip a little bit then it'll, it'll work out fine. Now let's see which one we're going to try first. Um, it's really going to be a challenge to get the effect on camera here because the SX-70 viewfinder can't really be captured so I'm just going to hold this in front of the camera. That's, that's the blue filter obviously. That's working. Um, let's check out this other one. What's that? This is the neural density filter. That's not really showing up right now because the auto exposure is on but you can see that the area where the filter is is actually darker. That's the intended effect that you can use 600 film in your SX-70 camera without any pack filters and without any manual exposure control. Next up is the yellow filter. That one, well, I guess is yellow. <laughs> it's intended for black and white photography to boost the contrast there a little bit. And finally we have the macro lens. Now you can actually tell the difference right there. It's got a little zooming effect if I just move it like this, but if I put it right in front of the lens of the iPhone here, you can tell that it goes out of focus because it really narrows down the focus area of the camera here. Finally, we've got the fisheye lens. Now this one gives you a really nice fisheye effect it's not perfect um, with the iPhone here in this preview kind of a deal because it's obviously made for the Polaroid SX-70 camera, not for the iPhone. So um, it looks a little out of whack there, but I think it's going to look really nice on the Polaroid because it's obviously made for that frame size. Let me figure out how to actually install this lens on the camera. 
it would probably be easier if I just put the lens on first and then put the entire holder on the camera, but it, I guess it'll work out like this. You just make sure the little notch aligns with the hole on the lens and then you just push it down a little bit, it fits perfectly into there. You can see nothing is blocked and it really it, it looks kind of funny like this with a big lens on it. But everything still works, autofocus obviously got the manual exposure dial not blocked or anything so that's really good let me actually try to get this fisheye effect on camera I'm not sure if that's gonna work out Let's see there we go finally that took a little bit of a trial and error but you can tell that there's a very nice wide angle effect here it's not exactly fisheye in my opinion but it's certainly a very much wider angle than the usually very, very narrow angles you would get with the Polaroid SX-70's lens without any other adapters on it. Let's keep going with the close-up lens here. I took this picture of two little furry mates with a Melbourne zoom coin with my iPhone and the close-up lens and then with the Polaroid SX-70 and the close-up lens. So that one worked out really well. Let me try to take this back off. So I was prying it and it didn't move and then I tried a little harder and pushing from the bottom. That was a scary sound. Fortunately, nothing happened, the lens didn't crack or anything, so yeah, definitely be careful with that. To show you the effect of this close-up lens with my iPhone camera, I just put this box right where the sweet spot of the macro focus was, and then you can definitely tell the difference here when I add and remove the close-up lens. You can tell things go in and out of focus, so it's definitely an improvement. Let's have a quick look at this instruction sheet. It's got some technical details on the filters and lenses that are included and also gives you some hints at some creative techniques you might want to use with this lens set. Wrapping up, what do I think of this Impossible Mint SX70 lens set? First up, I gotta say that the build quality and the overall fit of the lens adapter and things on the camera are perfect obviously because they've been specifically engineered for this camera so you're not going to find a better quality or better suitable sit anywhere else. However, the price is quite steep for the, well, let's say occasionally useful items you get in this set and as you can see here there is an issue with the autofocus cameras where the reverse switch that reverts back to normal focus is easily pressed in by accident. So overall I am quite happy with my purchase. I really do like the lenses and the effect that they give you, but I cannot recommend this to everybody because of the steep price. As always, stay tuned for more and thanks for watching.